Hello everyone. Uh, today I chose a very excellent topic is chair confirmation. Uh, cha chair confirmation. What is my topic today? Chair confirmation. Chair confirmation. Why chair confirmation is a very lovely topic? Because chair confirmation is only possible is carbon six. If there is a 7 carbon, it's not possible. If there is a 5 carbon, it's not possible. It's only possible there is a 6 carbon. It's like cyclohexane, something like that. So, for example, I'll show you how, like, think. And also, check information is only for cyclo cases. Look this one. This is your chair. How many carbon is in there? One, two, three, four, five, six. So this, if if it is five, it's not possible. If it is six, it's if it is seven, it's not possible. So only six carbon. But don't get confused. If you substitute like CH three, that means there is seven carbon. I don't mean that. I just mean only what when you make a your cyclo. When you make your cyclo, and this is this is not a inside the ring this carbon is not inside the ring your substitute it can be many other things but i just mentioned that what is the in the cyclo which carbon make a cyclo the so six carbon is a cyclohexane like so look right now in the chair confirmation cases you have to know two 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 what very clearly one is equatorial And another one is exile. How many equatorial in the chair confirmation? Six. How many exile? Six. So they are equally distributed. So look right now. Think this is my chair. This is my chair. And this chair is like um you have to figure out which one is your equatorial, which one is your exile. So look. I'll show you the simple way how you can draw the equatorial and exile. These four things you can write very easily, right? So this four is your equatorial. Equatorial. These four things you can write very easily. This is your exile. You need a two more two two more exile. Two more exile and two more equatorial. So, this two is exile, that means this middle one is equatorial. This two is exile, this is middle one is equatorial. If this one is equatorial, this one, this bond is obviously exile. If this one is equatorial, obviously this one is equatorial. Oh, uh, exile. So, look right now, you have to understand also one more thing that up and down. So my, my dear friend, this is up, this is down, this is up, this is down, this is down, this is up, this is down, this is up, this is down, this is up, this is up, this is down. So if I ask you anything, draw the most stable chart confirmation. So look right now. If I ask you two methyl, two tributyl, two methyl cyclohexane. If I ask you draw the most stable chart conformation for two tributyl, two methyl cyclohexane. Tributyl means tributyl, two methyl cyclohexane. How you will draw the most stable chair conformation? It's very easy. How? Because if you put your substitute in the equatorial position, if you put your all substitute in the equatorial position, that means your molecule is going to be most stable chair conformation. And if you put everything in the axial position, it, it would be least stable chair conformation. So it, it's very clear. If I put everything in the equatorial, it's most stable. If I put everything in the exile, it's less stable. So draw the most stable for this one. So give this is number one. This is number two. So number two position, you have a what? Number two position, you have a T-butyl. 
and I told you most stable. Draw the most stable. Most stable. So if I tell you the draw the most stable, that means this is your most stable. Equatorial position. Which one is equatorial? This one is equatorial and this one is exile. So I'll write for you. Exile equatorial. Equatorial exile. I'll draw that just on E. Equatorial. This is exile. This is um exile. This is equatorial. This is equatorial. This is exile. This is ex exile. Uh, equatorial. This is exile. So number second position you put in the what position? Equatorial position. You put in the what position? Equatorial position. Number third is uh, two three. Two three. So number third position will be what? Methyl. So number third position which one is equatorial? This one is equatorial. You see the equatorial? E means equatorial and CH3 is in there. So, do you understand this one? Look right now, this one is your substitute, T butyl is the equatorial position, and methyl also in the equatorial position. This one is your most stable confirmation. Why I draw for you the up, down, up, down, all those things? Why? Because there is a reason. Why? Because most of the students, they make a mistake in the chair confirmation. They think the trans is most stable. It's true, but cyclo hexane chart conformation sometime cis can be more stable or trans can be more stable some cis can be more stable chart conformation or trans can be more stable chart, chart conformation trans can be less stable chart conformation cis can be less stable chart conformation so i'll show you this is what look this one your substitute this one is going to the up 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 this is going down. Opposite. Cis means same side. Trans means opposite side. So look right now. This one is going up. One is going down. Your two substitutes that opposite way. That's why this one name is trans. Trans 2-t-butyl 3-methyl Cyclohexane. Right now I have a question to you. For example, if I tell you 2 butyl 4 methyl, 2 butyl 4 methyl cyclohexane. 1, 2, 3, 4. So if I tell you draw the most stable chart conformation, where are you going to be put your CH3 now? You will put your uh, CH3 in there. Look, this CH3 is equatorial in the up position. This one is equatorial and up position. So what happened? It's the same side. That's why this is cis. 2-t-butyl. 4-methyl. <coughs> cyclohexane. So trans can be more stable, cis can be more stable. Trans can be less stable, cis can be less stable. Because why? Because it depends on the how it's going. It's going up position or down position. If it's both both substitute the up position, that means it's cis. Both one is up, one is down, that means trans. So don't get confused. And don't forget to put your Hs. If you forget to forget to put your H, that means you are wrong. So I will draw you, draw for you this one is very nicely and well written. I fill up the hydrogen okay so this is your 
two tributyl four methyl cyclohexane and this is trus this is cis this one is cis two tributyl four methyl cyclohexane and this is the most stable chart conformation if you want to make the least stable chart conformation what you going to be do put everything in the excel position and th from this one you can make a four possible chart conformation one put in the excel position one put in the equatorial position one put in the this one put in the equ equatorial position uh, and this one put in the excel position this one put in the uh, excel position this one put in the equatorial position you can make a four possible structure how many possible structure you can make you can make four possible chair conformation you can make from there so i hope you guys like my video if it is helpful for you share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and if you have any question you can email me my email address is alamgirhussain1992 at gmail.com and um, study hard love organic chemistry make fun of organic chemistry you will really like it why is it fun because pain people want to forget but when people make a fun of something they, they don't forget because the funny things we keep in our memory we store in our memory okay so that's why make a fun of it love organic chemistry will definitely definitely gonna be benefited thank you for watching my video